We should keep killing games. These, these video games, they're no good for you. Look at all of this commotion going on right now in the world. And we're trying to focus on saving games. Get rid of them. We're all so distracted by the luxury of gaming. But we should just stop it. If we get rid of all the games, then we have nothing else to be distracted by. Therefore, we can put forth our efforts into stopping things like this happening. Look what's going on in the world. Look at all this war, famine, acts of God. And you're trying to save games. Look at this. You want to save that? You want to save this over this? Huh? Let's think through this rationally, all right? If we stop killing games, then they're gonna keep, they're gonna keep being there for you to play. And then nothing's gonna get done. You're just gonna keep playing the crew and there's gonna be nothing else for you to do because the world's gonna end. Right now, we're only successful at killing the live service games. We gotta go deeper. We gotta take down the storefronts. We gotta eliminate the source. But soon, GameStop's gonna be out of business. And that's gonna be number, that's that's a crucial one right there. And we gotta get rid of all the local game stores. We gotta make them afraid to do business on Earth. So here's the plan, all right? We're gonna go to the local game stores and we're gonna put mayonnaise on the door handles. I ain't touching that thing. And bam. Make sure you get a thick layer on too so it's visible. So, you know, if people touch it, it's, it's you know, they already got mayonnaise on their hands. So they're just gonna go in anyways. But if they visibly see mail on the door handle, they're not gonna touch that thing. They're not gonna go in. But you gotta do it from the inside as well. You gotta go in there, pretend that you're buying. You're gonna buy a game. Do what, do what I do. Just go in with no money and look at all the PS1 games. And then get a little mayo. Dump it on the on the push handle. That way, when there's someone outside that wants to get in, if they, but they can't because there's mayo on on the pole door handle. The employee on the inside, they don't want to touch the mayonnaise on the inside door handle. Yeah! So now they're trapped. So they're probably going to starve to death and they're going to drink all the Red Bull that they sell and they're going to have a couple of gamer snacks too and then soon they're going to run out. And then they got to resort. That's right. Eating the games. Games destroyed. I want you to go to your game collection right now, your physical game collection, and I want you to eat all your games. Knife and fork them. That way they get digested and they're obliterated. If you break them, you might be able to put them back together. We're going to chemically destroy them with your stomach ass. And then you're gonna poop them out. There's gonna be poop on them. You don't wanna even touch you don't wanna touch that. You don't wanna touch mayonnaise on the door. You don't wanna touch poop cover games. Poop poop cover poop cover the Pooper, poop, poop. Ross Scott, I got plans for you. Hi! What are my plans for Ross Scott? Listen, I'm gonna get some mayonnaise, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to his house, I'm gonna put mayonnaise on the door handle. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna knock on his door, I'm gonna hide in his bushes, and he's gonna open the door. He's gonna be like, what the? Hi! What the heck? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put an M80 in the in the jar of mayonnaise and I'm going to throw it in. I'm not going to do that. Don't tell anyone. I'm going to disguise myself as a mayonnaise salesman. I'm going to knock on his door. Hey, are you Mr. Scott? Hi, uh, I'm Ross. You, uh, I got some mayonnaise for you. Hello, I'm a mayonnaise salesman. Traveling hellsman, mayonnaise salesman. Would, would you like some, Mr. Scott? And you'll say, you know what? I, it's I, not I, clear I, if what's going on is even I'm legal. I'm going to have to give it a try. That Ross Scott guy, you know, he's a nice guy. He might invite me in, you know, maybe... Uh, I'll have a suitcase full of it. Like, hey, can I introduce you into some Hellman's Manny's? Uh, I can get you a lifetime supply. That's what I'll say to him. Yeah. As soon as I step into his house, I'm going to open up the jar of Manny's, stick it on the door handle, run away. Bam, get it on the inside of the door. Bam, get it on the outside of the door. Leave without a trace. And then I shut, I slam the door. I can't overcome He's that. trapped in there. So that takes care of Ross Scott. And I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking uh, Pirate Software is uh, he's an ally. I attack your community, I destroy your reddit, I go after no, your business. No. He's got an agenda, all right. He wants to kill all games, except for one, his own. Be angry about So what we're gonna do, I'm not going to change we're gonna use him. I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna let Pirate Software deal with all of Ross Scott's boys, all of his legal crew. Not a lick of light legislation's gonna make it through. But by the end of it all, 
he's gonna get it. Don't spread this video around, because then he's gonna know. They're both gonna know. We can end it early. In fact, I'm not gonna upload until after I manage Ross Scott's doorknobs. By the time you see this message, Operation Hellman's will have already been in effect. Now there's one last thing that you're probably thinking about. How do we stop the digital storefront? How do we stop Steam, GOG, Xbox, the PlayStation, and Nintendo digital storefronts? Don't you worry about a thing, man, because I already got it solved. The plan's already in action. Yeah? Understood. That was Night Dive. They bought every single IP on Earth, and they deleted every game from every digital storefront and they remade them in the in the Kex engine. We did it. We destroyed all games. Steven Kick is gonna kick my ass. So little does everybody know that once all the all the games are destroyed and everyone's busy saving the world and obtaining world peace finally, there will actually be one game left and it'll be all mine. <laughs> Oh, I'll be able to crack to the best game, best game, crack to the best game ever made. No one can say no way because there are no other games to compare them to. Crack to, crack to. <laughs> what are you gonna okay. do when the only game is crack to in the world on this earth? There is only one game it's Croc 2. What are you gonna do? Bitch.